We are following breaking news right now of what appears to be several people shot at what might have been a warehouse party this morning. We know that one woman sadly died. Maria is just getting to the scene to explain what happened this morning. She joins us live. We are here on the scene. This is 35th Avenue in Earl. We are hearing reports of an illegal party. Five people shot, one person dead, and you can see the crime tape all around this area. It's a warehouse district. We're told that the area that this happened in, um, it was an empty warehouse storage area. So again, this is 35th Avenue and we are joined live by uh, Officer Justice who is here on the scene with me. Can you break down exactly when you got the call and what you guys found when you arrived? Yeah, so about 5.30 this morning, Phoenix police received a call of a shooting in the area of 35th Avenue and Earl at this building. When officers arrived, they found a female inside the building and she was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced deceased. There was nobody else here at, at that time. Uh, around the same time, we started getting calls of people being dropped off at medical facilities kind of around the, around the Phoenix area. And what we've determined so far, the, uh, in addition to the female who's been pronounced deceased, we have four other individuals that suffered from gunshot wounds, which that we believe happened at this location. Um, their ages range anywhere from 17 to 26 years old. Those are approximate ages and their conditions vary from serious to life threatening. Do you have any witnesses? What do you know about the party? What time it started? Anything like that? So I don't know what time the party started. We got the phone call at about 530. We did track down some witnesses that we're speaking to and it's pretty early in the investigation, but detectives will be working all of those details out. This isn't the first time we've been to one of these illegal warehouse parties where someone gets hurt. How many of these have you had over the last few weeks and are you seeing an upward trend? Yeah, so unfortunately it's not the first. I'm personally aware of two other um, parties that have occurred at vacant buildings that have resulted in homicides or shootings. Um, what we need to keep in mind is these are illegal parties and, and people can be arrested for attending these, they're trespassing, and then of course the violence that occurs with them when they turn to shootings. You're telling me that people are cutting the lock? So the lock. people are illegally gaining entry, whether that's cutting locks, whether that's forcing a door open, that's how they're gaining entry to these. I mean, that's a big number. Five, four people hurt, one person dead. I know you guys are still early in the investigation, so we're going to continue to stay on this. and. Uh, please keep us posted on how this develops and of course the if the, when the next of kin is identified and maybe someone can come forward well, you want them to call you once they have info yeah absolutely they can call the phoenix police department and they can also call silent witness or 480 testigo for spanish and they can re remain anonymous all right thank you officer justice again this is 35th avenue and earl this is just north of thomas so this is what's happening right here crime tape again surrounding this whole industrial area Ladies, this is not the first time that we've heard of these illegal parties. So again, so young, 17 years old to 26 years old. Once we learn more information, we'll of course bring it to you both on air and online.